After Fall River voters approved a multi-million dollar project for a new Durfee High School, we're getting a look inside. Eyewitness News reporter Molly O'Brien toured the new school building today. She joins us now with the latest on where the project stands. Molly. The new BCM Durfee High School is on time and on budget. Fall River School Superintendent says the building will serve as a high-tech hub for the community while paying tribute to the history of Fall River. Behind me and in front of us is our early childhood center, our cosmetology. We're going to have a, a hairdressing and barber shop in this facility. We have our culinary program. We're going to have a, a restaurant that the public's going to be able to eat in. We have our library and our performing arts facility. Fall River School Superintendent Dr. Matthew Malone highlights features of the new $265 million Durfee High School. That's a huge investment in the future of this city. Uh, we're very in the belief that the future of our economic development for this region will be driven through our public schools. By 2021, over 2,000 students will walk through this atrium. This will all be glass encased. And what's interesting in the design feature is that the glass also serves a purpose to heat uh, the facility. But we're going to have natural light. Uh, in all classrooms in this building. Plans include incorporating Fall River granite, reviving the historical Durfee bells, and telescope. With two courtyards, three floors, and over 500,000 square feet, Malone says the past, present, and future will live simultaneously in the new Durfee. Kenneth Pacheco, the chief operating officer for Fall River School, says the Massachusetts Building Authority paid for 66% of the project, which allows the district to focus on education. He says that's Fall River's economic future. Now, if you'd like to see a time-lapse video of the Durfee High School project, we have it posted on our webpage at WPRI.com. Live in studio, I'm Molly O'Brien for Eyewitness News.